Good morning, everybody. It's Ramona. Welcome back. I have a small little Trader Joe's haul. Um, again, I only went for a couple of things. I have two bags, yada, yada, yada. Same old story. I love Trader Joe's. Okay, let's just stop trying to justify my purchases. Okay, uh, flowers. I did buy myself some flowers this week. I was gifted some flowers last week, and they were so pretty in the kitchen. I just wanted to get some more. I did get the new organic sweet and spicy pineapple barbecue sauce. And I think pineapple and pork go really good together. So I'm gonna try these on some barbecue ribs, I think. I think my friend is an avid griller, so he might have a different idea. I did repurchase this, the mushroom and black truffle flatbread. This is really good. If you like truffles, if you like mushrooms and that kind of earthy note of mushrooms, like if you're not sure what truffles taste like, if you like mushrooms, they're like a step above. So if you like mushrooms, I think you'll like truffles. So this is really good way to check out truffles as is the uh, truffle ketchup, still available. I bought some apriums, which I'm guessing are a cross between, oh, part, oh, it says right here, part plum and part apricot. So those looked good. I should probably, let me try this barbecue sauce. How about that? I should have thought of that already. And let's see what we have here. Ooh. Made a mess. Mmm. Oh, it is a spicy. Oh. Mm, yeah, I definitely get the, oh, it's, it definitely has a kick. It definitely has a kick. If you, don't like, if you don't like spicy things, this might not be the one for you. Depends on what your uh, spice level is, um, tolerance level. But I'm definitely getting the sweet and the pineapple, but it's also spicy. Okay. All right, moving on. Um, I did buy two of the creamers that I put in my iced coffee, the coconut almond creamers. As I said, I put those in my iced coffee, but my hot coffee is black, so I'm not sure where, what's going on there. But anyway, that's just the way it is. I did buy two salads, the peanut udon noodle salad. This is so stinking good. Noodles, cabbage, red peppers, uh, I think there's some cucumber in there, some carrots and some herbage and like a peanut dressing. So if you like peanut sauce stuff, this salad is so yummy. And then I've had this one once before, the corn and quinoa salad. And this also is very good. Uh, quinoa, cabbage, some greenery, roasted corn, tomatoes. There's a lime in there, some red onions. Really, really good. Um, this is all squished down in one container. This for me will make two salads. So I won't dress the whole thing. I'll just kind of mix it up to get everything mixed together. Cause when you toss it, it, it like I said, it's going to expand and then I'll separate it. I'll only, I'll only dress one at a time. So those are good. Um, and then I've got a couple more. My stock was getting low on the Italian soda, the Italian grapefruit soda and the Italian blood orange soda, and they are both very good. I really enjoy those both. They're very refreshing. Um, for snacks, right, I did get the plums, but uh, this is a repurchase, the peanut butter uh, filled pretzel nuggets. They also come in no salt pretzels, the same thing, but without salt on the outside, but that's not a pretzel. You've gotta have salt on your pretzel. And these I purchased the last time I went, the dark chocolate roasted pistachio toffee. This was really yummy also, really, really like this. And what I especially liked about this, I liked everything about it because I love um, nuts and chocolate and toffee, but this toffee doesn't break your tooth. Have you ever bitten in a piece of toffee and it's like cement and you think, oh my God, I just busted a tooth. This toffee is very, very easy to eat, which is one thing I really, really liked about it. I did repurchase this wine that I purchased maybe, I think a month ago. And the last time I went, it was not available. So I saw it today and I did purchase it. It is a red blend called Susu, Miet, Susu Maniello uh, from Puglia, Italy. And this was really, really good. This, although, you know, for wine, even at Trader Joe's, I say all the time, wine is so affordable there. I usually buy wine at Trader Joe's anywhere between 
five and seven dollars. Great, great wines in that price range. This was ten dollars. A little bit, a few dollars more. But if you look on the top shelf, they also have 50, 60, 70 dollar bottles of wine. So Trader Joe's has a price range and a wine for everybody. I highly recommend doing your wine shopping at Trader Joe's. And then finally, I, I saw somebody else haul this, the Honey Mango Shave Cream. So I'm going to give that a go. Mm, smells good. Nice. Okay. Um, so that's it for the Trader Joe's haul. Um, if I, I've tried a lot of things at Trader Joe's, but if I, if you have something that you're loving at Trader Joe's, leave it down below. I'd love to hear what you, what you buy, what you buy on repeat occasions that you love it that much. And I will give it a try as well. That's it, everybody. Have a great Monday and a happy and safe week. I will see you soon. Bye.